pan up the camera just a little bit, we can show our special guest who is now here. <laughs> He's here. Hey, Rob. <laughs> well, listen, I understand. You need your coffee, right? You need your coffee. I didn't mean to photobomb you guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on over, yeah, Rob, because we want to talk to you now. Here, we'll, we'll, All right, yeah, our, we'll I'm going to we'll stand check. up. We're going to stand up. Come on. Uh oh, be careful. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's going that way. Roby doesn't open the, the the thing for me, but he opens it for you, Rob. Yeah. <laughs> what is that about? <laughs> Alright, come on in the in the middle. Hey, thanks for coming to the Rise and Live show. Did you know we quit our job? Uh, you quit for a good reason, I guess. Hey. So what do you think of our new show? I love it. It's exciting. I came in here. I didn't know what to expect. And uh, I see a lot of smiles. And, you know, smiles are contagious. Did you see the bar yet? Where The bar? Right here. Oh We're serving God. tequila. <laughs> this early in the morning? Wait a minute. What do you mean this late in the morning? Yeah, yeah. It is Friday, I guess. Yeah. Listen, it's our show. We make the rules. I like the rules. We yeah, our old bosses didn't like us having an open bar, but, you know, <laughs> yeah. Tequila or, Friday with or the old bosses. Or dance moves. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so tell us about, um, you got it, the new season of, of the Vanilla Ice Project on the DIY Network. Tell us uh, what we're going to see this season. Oh, my gosh. Uh, this season is different. We're, we filmed here in Wellington. As you know, we do a lot of uh, Palm Beach properties here. And... Uh, in Wellington this season, and you see here this pink house that we found, <laughs> which I said, oh, it's perfect. It's pink. Are, but uh, Are you going to keep it that color? No. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in the keys, not here. Uh, so we turn it into a mini Palm Beach mansion. A lot of people that, that see the show, you know, this is season nine, they always ask, you know, when are you going to show some stuff that we can afford? Because, you know, Palm Beach caters yeah. to a high-end clientele, and, and we showcase a lot of very expensive stuff on there. You know, we do kitchens that are half a million dollars, and wow. they're like, our house is only worth two hundred and fifty. Where, where, How do we afford this? So we're showing them for the first time how they can afford, you know, turning their house into a mini mansion. But also, I'm giving away a lot of my secrets this year on how to buy the houses. I've never really given that information oh, wow. before. So, uh, a lot so of it's a true DIY. You're showing people how to do it yourself. It's DIY for sure. Doing it myself here in Palm Beach and uh, giving away a lot of those secrets that those people sell tickets to seminars for. So those yeah. guys, those guys might be mad at me, <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna let out the secrets and uh, you know let it uh, amplify out there and inspire people to get out and, and well, you know flip homes. I've got to imagine going to the the closing table and you have Vanilla Ice sitting there. That's got to that's got to get you a couple thousand off, right? Well, uh, no, it actually makes the price go up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they uh, they never know until the closing. They're like, wow, because it's under corporations. Oh, but it doesn't yeah, say, yeah. oh, Vanilla Ice is buying this house. <laughs> you know, and then they see me there and they what are you doing here? It's like, well, that's uh, it's me. Or better yet, <laughs> Vanilla Ice is buying your house because it's really ugly and it needs to be gutted. <laughs> this is true. It's, it's twofold. All right, so tell happen. us about your new project at home because I've seen your Instagram post of oh. your daughter, Priscilla. She is adorable. I mean, this look at this child. Wow. Oh, there's my little girl. The greatest. Oh my goodness. She's ever. a model. She is a model. She is a little beauty. And you know, she was born only two pounds, and Wellington Regional Hospital took great care of her in the NICU unit for three and a half months. It was sad oh, to see my her goodness. that way, but to see her like this, I give all the credit to mommy and to the you know hospital there, and they did a great job, and she's totally healthy and great, as you can see. And uh, how old is she now? She's one year. And she's equivalent to her, you know, like eight months yeah. because yeah. of the NICU. But she yeah, yeah. is crawling all over the place and happy and smiling and just a great baby. Has she said any words yet? Or she said, Dada, come? Dada was the first word. Oh, oh. oh you're mom's in trouble. like, what? You're in like, trouble, Rob. <laughs> mom, mom, I was in trouble because mommy said, I do all the work and you get all the credit. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, well, I'm useless. What do you want? All right, before you go, well, you're not leaving yet, right? I'm you're going to stick around. I just got here. Okay, good. Because I want to do like rapid. Drink. He does need a drink. <laughs> All right, I want to do like rapid fire questions with you. Are you ready? Uh, I guess okay, so. let me let me get my questions up here. Okay, uh -oh. who was the last person to text you? The last person to text me was my good buddy Cleve Mash. Cleve Mash. You know Cleve? Of course, he came with you for a couple of the segments when That's we were right. on the stage. Yeah. You know Cleve? That was my buddy. Last one to text me. Okay, um, the last thing you Googled. 
Last thing I Googled was Cadillac parts. I, I build cars, so I have a lot of old classic cars. I spend those late nights uh, putting stuff in my cart and then wake up and not know what I put in the cart. And then two weeks later, all these surprises up. show up. I'm like, <laughs> Amazon boxes, what's in there? Yes. Yay! Yes. Yeah, when I drink tequila, I can't get on Amazon. <laughs> oh, no, don't do it. The, the... All right, the biggest pet, your biggest pet peeve. Uh, my biggest pet peeve would be, um, that's a good question, you know, I'm, I'm kind of laid back these days in my life. A lot of pet peeves, I, I got rid of them, you know, mm -hmm. get that dirt off your shoulder, enjoy life, don't take anything too serious, you know, I don't really that's know. That's called growing up, peeve. right? Yeah, Maturity. Yeah, getting wiser, a little older. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who would play you in a movie? Who would play me in a movie? Zac Efron. Oh, <laughs> I did not call that one. <laughs> that is a surprise. All right, the last song you listened to. Last song I listened. I feel like to. you're listening to a song right now. Is that you making you know, it noises? Probably is. Oh, I'm oh, it is. Us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so random on what I listen to. It goes from like Drake to EDM to Conway Twitty. Oh. It's all over the map. <laughs> all right. So um, I, I have one last question because I've, I've really been wondering about this because, you know, you're going to see coming up what Roby is able to do. Um, but but can't he can't rap <laughs> Roby Eric Roby is it, it can you teach people to rap or is it just innate it doesn't come real quick it's just got to be something that you practice over the years I used to freestyle because we come from the 90s we didn't write things down we, mm -hmm. we came from house parties right you know, where, where, where you drink a little bit and then yeah. you, you you know you get music, creative you know you give me a mic and or don't even need a mic just you know give me a crowd and start doing your thing but it would be lots of practice at night lots of losing sleep understanding how to you know put words together and everything so i come from the freestyle era of rapping which is different than the young guys today they write everything down it's all poetry though yeah it but, is but okay, true. Roby, i want you to try it can you try some rap no <laughs> i'm from west virginia that's not allowed <laughs> west virginia yeah. oh man long live long live chris klein don't mean to bring up a sad thing but there you go buddy all right uh, yeah rapping um so you're gonna try I'll, yeah, you start. Uh, you want to you do something easy? I mean, set it off easy for no, you? Why would Let's I do see if you hard? Because I want to check your memory. Okay. That's, ma rapping is memory. You have to memorize your know, words that rhyme. So, all right, stop. Collaborate oh. and... Come on, do it. Co uh, listen. Stop and, and listen. <laughs> <laughs> he was so nervous. Like, he was. <laughs> I feel like I'll be better at this. And he's like, where are we going with this? Do I, I need to rhyme? I didn't hear anything there. I mean, this is a famous line. Like, you I can know. do this, And I Ruby. put it in the newsletter, too. <laughs> <laughs> that's called Stop. Brain. Collaborate and listen. See, that's how you do it, Roby. All right. I, I can't. I can't. Okay. I can't. All right. I don't want to embarrass you. Do, like do it like this. I'm the ice man, kicking like Jackie Chan. It's time to take a stand. Now, it's Rob, it's your turn, man. Let's go. Show me something. And it's and. <laughs> Green eggs and ham. <laughs> Green eggs and ham. <laughs> Green eggs and ham it is. <laughs> Who don't like cat and a half? <laughs> Great one. That's all you needed. That was the I'm best comeback ever. You. You're next to our man. Can you dance? Yes. <laughs> Let's see. Collaborate. All right. There you go. That's a the lips, it's all, all you need. All you, all you need is a, a fanny pack and some neon colors. Yeah. And the bell bib devote pose. And you got to use the word S U P. And you got to look at people and cross your arms with the '90s pose and go, "Suck." So.